things are changing very rapidly in Antarctica mostly declined in measurements like the populations of penguins or the amount of phytoplankton that's in the water, the, uh, the mass of krill, which is the zooplankton organisms that, that are eaten by penguins and seals and whales. We see new organisms immigrating into the area. There are also fur seals and elephant seals, which are not native. There's a special penguin called the Adelie penguin. It's a little short guy that's about a, comes up to your knees. So there used to be 15,000 breeding pairs of Adelie penguins near Palmer Station, and now there's fewer than 3,000. And we knew that if the, if the penguins were declining, other things had to be going on. And so we started to look further down in the food chain. So I mentioned krill, these little Zooplankton, shrimp-like organisms, an adult krill is about as big as your little finger. It's a small shrimp. And that's the principal food source for penguins and seals and whales. And in fact, research has shown that, that over a large area of the polar South Atlantic Ocean, uh, krill have declined by as much as a factor of 10 in the past uh, 50 to 75 years. The decline of penguins in the Antarctic Peninsula region was one of our very first clues that something was going on down there. So already back in the 1970s and 80s, uh, people became aware that the Adelie penguins were declining, but, but there was a lot of debate about why. And then gradually, uh, between the early 1990s and uh, the past few years, uh, the climate warming argument has won out. So Adelie penguins really are canaries in the climate coal mine that are telling us that things are changing. Um, most people will say, you know, I feel bad for the penguins, but really that doesn't affect me that much, um, which is true in a way, but it's a warning about changes that are going to be happening in all ecosystems all over the planet. Um, lots of ecosystems like tropical rainforests and coral reefs are very, very complex compared to Antarctica, and it's much harder to observe changes. But uh, from, from studying places like Antarctica, where the changes are big and fast and profound, uh, we can get a lot of clues about how the whole planet is changing uh, in these decades and what we should expect in the future.